Back to oh, Re oh Remo was there. Okay, back to the TP League September. This is the last quarterfinal of the day, number three, and this is the most hyped match you can imagine. The dominator of the past couple of years against the dominator of the entire Warcraft scene for years. Happy versus Moon. Moon was very successful recently against Happy. Won the past couple of encounters. Is it time for Big Demi to strike back? He looked extremely good in the group stages. Happy there letting absolutely uh, having no doubt. Kawa had a really good early game always against him, but in the late game, Happy would be dominant. Keeper for Moon playing this pretty passive this early game, just creeping a lot and expanding on the spot quite early on. Tier 2 tech already started. This expansion finishes is great for Moon. Happy should scout this, but there's no scout moving out, so this might work out. Wow. Okay, or is he so sure that this is happening somewhere in the north? So far, he takes a pit stop as so often, prioritizes level 3. Keep up. Level 2, no mistakes here. Picked up the staff. That is classic Moon play recently. Here's the scout. But Moon will take care of it. Happy doesn't know. He has a... He, uh, suspicious. He doesn't know. Did he lose a ghoul? He doesn't have too many ghouls. Only six. He... With only six ghouls, I think he can't get this cancel, really. He built the Gravehead also very early. Yeah, this is just a really simple game plan by Moon. Just play it passive, get level 3, Keeper is now strong, expand on the spot. This is risky. If the Undead is aggressive on level 2, this really backfires. But uh, Happy didn't do that. Happy played it very passive. His scout was too late, in my opinion. And just like that. I think Moon gets quite far ahead with his expansion finishing. Yeah, Moon's game plan is relatively simple. Expand, keep Happy busy on his side of the map, go for ghouls early on with Entangle and staff out to replenish mana. And it works so, so, so well for, I guess, four to six weeks. Happy didn't find a solution against that. It's an Acolyte, okay. That's also the reason why Happy's playing so defensively, I guess. Because he knows that this Keeper Harass is coming. Trying to get a surround in. And it works, but there's also a Staff. Let's make another Acolyte. Did he just get inspired? No, what? Okay, this just is the, for the shade. This is the fastest Sacrificial Pit I've seen in years. Yeah, he did that as well uh, in the group stage against Kaho. And the shade didn't feel too impactful, but I guess in the games where it's really good, where you have the perfect scout, it can help. Yeah, interesting new adjustment. We saw that also by x -Lord sometimes in the past. But now Happy trying to at least cancel the Entangled. But there's a ton of Wisps around here for Detonates. Oh yeah, against the Skeletons. And there's only Skeletons. No Ghouls in this push. That's one... Two Wisps down. Moon can replace them relatively easy. Keeper is around for Entangle. Mana is burned. No more Coil for a while. And this looks like a solid hold to me. Entangled, not cancelled at all. Can now be repaired. Smooth sailing for the Goat. Yeah, this is an amazing position for Moon. Only problem for him is that the Demoner is underleveled. But outside of that, it's just glorious. And he's got the Cloak of Shadows as well to hide here. <laughs> Well, good thing we got a shade coming. Where is he, though? Ah, okay. Moves to the wrong side for now. There's another wisp here on the high ground to detonate against the skellies. Oh, happy misremembers! Not a great memory day for him. Now he sees. Ah, damn. <laughs> you just staff out. And happy was busy there just standing around for such a long time. Happy seems a little bit off with his timings, with his game sense. Sometimes we see that happen for him, especially in the first game of the series. And, uh, yeah, Moon is in such a strong position. Honestly, this has to be his game. For now, very, very good indeed. Moon coming from a WSB victory in an offline event just two days ago, where he defeated Focus in the final. No undead there to threaten him. Keeper with the Sobi mask, Demon Hunter with the circlet, even the inventory is looking good. And we saw it already twice, something that I mentioned 
a lot recently, maybe broken record. But Moon needs staffs for his game plan to work out. So this is why I think maps with two shops favor him a little bit, because there he can get the staff very reliably. On maps with one shop, Happy might be able to steal it, uh, steal it, and then we have a different game. G3 will finally be reached here for Happy. We see a very early web upgrade as well. And more fiends coming, hoping for a big item here. When the DK is level 4 especially, and we have the 50 supply for the undead, the undead can be very, very cost efficient. That item though, doesn't help. Nope, Legion Doomhorn is gold. Can basically trade it for the orb. And a little bit of an investment, of course. Yeah, happy. A lot more defensive. Where is the tier 3 aggression? Where is the ghoul push? It's just not happening. A lot heavier on fiends than before. Which gives Moon a lot more time than before. So, Expo paying off. Demon Hunter levels will be there. Got an Ankh against Hero Nuke. And there's a lot of hippos in the air already. Medallion of Courage, not the best item. Would have been for the Lich. But Demon Hunter level 3 is the most important thing. Happy may want to counter expand. This is what he did in the group stage. Not trying to all in the Night Elf anymore, but rather trying to play counter expo. But Moon is in such a good position to punish that right away. Already in upkeep. The fairies are coming. Upgrades also started. And Moon is hovering around. He's got the Wisp for vision. He, of course, realized that Happy's playing more and more expansions again. And he's ready to pounce at a moment's notice. Okay, so be masked. Finally, a good item for Happy. Plus few wards, but they should be easily cancelled. So, Moon. You know the expansion is coming now. How fast are you approaching this? He's moving all the way back to the north. He's a little out of position now. Yeah, Happy hit the Acolyte. But I think Moon should certainly know. Even without vision, this is quite suspicious. The fact that he hasn't been attacked for so long. Already up at more than 60 supply. Lumber was looking a bit short there for a moment, but that seems to be rectified now as well as more and more fairies are streaming out. And once he has two, two low upgrades or two one upgrades, might be willing to fight. Upside for Happy compared to other matches versus Moon, he kept all the ghouls alive, even though he didn't build too much. So the army composition looks rather good for now, I'd say. Shade was revealed and killed. Now it's up to Moon to shut down this expo. Wonder if with this amount of ghouls, Moon's priority in the fight with Focus Fire is still the same. Statues and fiends first. And very, very late going for ghouls. It's such a big army already. And in we go. The first Nova hits very well. The Hippogriffs feel the pain right away. Heal ward being placed as well by Happy, but quickly taken out. Good reactions by Moon. Doesn't allow that one to be up for too long. But Happy is not losing too many units yet. Destroyer morphed again. The Fiend survives. The Coil was there. And the DK has a lot of mana. Too much mana, I feel like. The D-Mana burns. Not quite ideal. Sobi Mask was helping a little bit. Now we take out the anti-air. Quick focus fire shifts by Moon. Nothing is really out of position. Happy also not kiting at all really taking this fight straight up with two destroyers still in the mix one needs a coil but there's none available so that's a five supply kill right there moon is losing a lot but he can go for these trades the levels should be insane but it's the same for happy five and four needs another burn on that dk soon he's already at 70 72 burn 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 not available okay gets level four here and both are losing massive portions of his army yeah, it seemed like a simple defense for Happy. This was a scary army attacking, but I think Moon just didn't micro it well enough. I think the target fire was all over the place. All the fiends got hurt a little bit. That's exactly what the undead wants. Then you got uh, Regen kicking in from the aura, also normally from statues. I mean, at the moment, it's not part of the army, but, you know, we'll be at it again soon. You want to pick off one target after the next, and ideally the statues first. Moon, it looked like he was on A click there, honestly. In the beginning, yep, that was not the best execution. We've seen this better. Reveal again against the Shade, so that's been taken out. Five, four heroes on both sides. Moon is still on tier two. He's not making any adjustments towards tier three. Upgrades are always very important. One O only, with two O coming. 
Sappers? Oh. oh, wow. Okay, if you can blow up the haunted gold mine, this game might be again in his hand. But there's an arrow there. Oh, and the destroyer is also scouting. Oh, was it least for a second? Moon is trying to distract while the sappers are coming in. Here's the one. Will they blow up each other? No, Moon's taking care of that, but only getting the ziggurat, not the haunted gold mine. That can be repaired. Acolyte's still there. Moon now deep in enemy territory. Has a TP, of course. If you go for that uh, move, you need that TP. Pretty hard to engage for Happy currently. How long is Moon staying in the undead base? Not for much longer. That's a goner. And all he got was a little bit of mining time. An Acolyte and the narrow Tower. Yeah, pretty big mistake by Moon. He was running in and then he was getting slowed and he was starting to panic with the sappers. So he went for the ziggurat, but he should have blown both up on the haunted. He could have gotten the kill, but he didn't do it properly. And Moon, it's a shame. He had such a clean early game. This was perfect the first couple of minutes, but he's uh, starting to shake here in the later stages. The very opposite of Happy, whose early game wasn't that good, especially the scouting there was lacking. But in the late game here, Happy is uh, coming into his own again. Moon trying to poke again. The fairy's only coming in now. It's just, it's, well, two big separate armies. But can he afford to TP out so many times? He needs to do big echo damage to these acolytes. Treants and another squad. But Happy is there with two fiends ready to defend, as well as with the DK in the base. Yeah, these handful of fairies don't really do much. But Moon's gonna staff over now towards the fairies. Ah, oh, that's Ooh. nice. That's a cool play with the Keeper. Oh, that way he can go play. for more kills there. He's evacuating from the main base. That's smart. There's a lot of Treants. Oh, does he have the damage to take out the Haunted? Ooh, the TP is on the Keeper. Gotta be careful of nukes. Not going for the potion and more focus, but rather TPs out right away as the Lich is coming for Nova. Damage done. Happy shaking a bit, but not breaking. These are the kinds of games where Moon is really, really excellent. These hit and runs where he dodges fights for a long time and kills the opponent by a thousand cuts. Especially against human. We have seen that a lot in the past with mass Riot plays running all over the map. Oftentimes the counter to this is good scouting, trying to intercept the opponent and normally also towers. Quite surprised that Happy is not going for any towers. Well, he had a narrow tower that was blown up. But uh, yeah, you're right. Spirit Tower usually a great answer to this. Maybe he thinks that he can't afford it? A player's forces are under attack. That fiend loss was severe. But yeah, we're getting another attack. That's a lot of fairies, Remo. 17. Indeed. But if Happy gets to a high fiend count, like once you have 10 fiends plus, you can deal with fairies normally very well. If you have the upgrades as well to match. Which at the moment... Happy doesn't have too many, but that could also change over time, as finally Happy is left in peace to mine at this expansion. He's going to have lots of gold. Staff over by the Keeper again, and should be able to get another Fiend. These are some nice plays by Moon. Okay, portal home. Wow, with everything. Coil Nova on the Keeper. There's a potion. Staff is on cooldown. It's either a TP or the potion or both. Fairies are coming in, and that is that town portal now. With a little bit more damage towards Happy's expansion, as you said, death by a thousand cuts. But good micro with an Acolyte. The HP region, of course, helps as well. And so far, I don't see the next attack coming in quickly. It's not as much damage as Moon is hoping to get. No tier 3 here yet for Moon. He's not... That rich, perhaps, could, but could still go for more upgrades to one of the fairies. Already pretty good. Happy's fiends will scale harder. He can also upgrade them more. 2 1 now, also upon them. Lots of piercing damage. Alright, here we go. Moon. It feels like he has to do huge damage here, perhaps even flat out win the game if he wants to have a chance. Happy's fighting on Blight, but not too many towers around. The fairy is chasing right away for the destroyers. And the fiend's having a tough time trying to deal with all this mass air. The lich gets to level 5, and the demon hunter, by the way, looking to be in trouble. But he does have that Ankh, that's gonna save him once. Only revives him with 500 HP though, that's again gonna be a danger. And you always have to be 
cognizant of the fact that the Lich can always eat a fiend and use the next Nova. So, stressful engagement for Moon. Yeah, especially with that break we got here. Very, very unfortunate. Not losing the Demon Hunter over it. The fiend focus not going through. Demon Hunter dies, but with the Ankh, as you mentioned. That's a lot better kiting by Happy compared to the first fight. The fairies are all over the place. We don't even see... Oh, Keeper in trouble. We don't even see too much flare because the statues have been repositioned super well. But slowly but steady, we're taking out a couple of fiends. But Moon, too scared of losing his heroes. That's a sick fiend save. Happy still at 61 pop. And if supply is even on tier 3 versus tier 2, that definitely favors the undead. Especially with 5-5 five, five hero levels. Yeah, winning this game from this position is extremely hard for Moon. He has to come up with some genius plays like we've seen in the past. Has to kill the expansion, has to kill Acolytes, has to make things painful for Happy. But this shade is actually wonderful for seeing where the army is, where the approach will be coming from, and maybe even to line up a creep jack. Exactly. We have the... Maybe we call it X-Lord play with the double crit. Makes a lot of sense if your most important unit is a fiend. Ooh, creep jack. Is that another TP? He wants that demon hunter on level 5 so bad. But he's getting jacked here now. Uh-oh. Staff use, TP use. These TPs are getting so expensive for Moon. Yeah, now Happy's in an aggressive position. He can attack this expansion and possibly take it out. He's got quite a few fiends here. How many is this? Seven. Oh, but he's TPing back. Oh, very smart by Moon. He was ready. <gasps> Wait a minute. No. The Keeper doesn't have a TP, yeah. though. Wasn't that smart, He eh? is on a Dead. suicide mission. Oh, boy. He saved the expo by sacrificing the Keeper. That was a calculated play. Yeah, he buys it yeah. back at the tavern. Moon is a smart guy. He got this game in his DNA. Or was it the right one, though? The Happy Zombie is so strong. Level 6 and 5 heroes. And that level 6 is not bad. The level 3 aura is actually super good. Look at those fiends. They're zooming. <laughs> <sighs> Takes out the shop now. Moon never had the resources. For tier 3, that hurts him now. Only 2-2 two, two fairies, not that strong. No orb really hurts bad. But this is usually the games where Moon is thriving. The long games, the tactical games. But how do you deal with level 6 and 5 heroes? Love that escape route, by the way. Happy's just chasing Moon around. Moon knows he can't take a fight. He needs way more supply to have a chance. But uh, Happy's army is huge. Wow. It has grown and grown to a terrifying size. And now the push comes in with the Demon Hunter not united with the army because he had to be staffed out to draw the coils. Love it. Also, mana potion here. Love it. Feels like Happy found a solution. He definitely made a lot of adjustments. Small adjustments, but helpful adjustments. And once again, focus fire on the Lich at the beginning of the fight. That didn't happen to Moon three to four weeks ago. Now he's switching the targets. But Happy, again, doesn't even have to kite much. And yeah, the Fiends, when they have Frost Armor as well, they have five armor. So hard to take out. And in the meantime, it's firing down shots everywhere. Happy doesn't even have to be on, a, uh, on focus fire here. He can just be on A-click and the Fiends are doing all the damage as long as there's no Treants and they're always getting dispelled. There's just no chance to win this kind of a fight. Fiends are, of course, the hard counter in the rock, paper, scissors format with the damage types. And Moon's about to lose this army in this game. If they are there in good numbers, of course, and that was the case. Switching the fire to the statues now to take out a lot of region, but the keeper has to go for a town portal that opens up the floodgates for Happy to go for the Tree of Life. Army size. Definitely in favor of Happy now, and that is not supposed to be the case in this matchup. If you play Mass Fairies, the, there's such a difference in how these fights are going. Happy was struggling in their re recent series, having a destroyer up, having some dispel, having a statue in the fight, even having a necessary number of fiends. That's all not the case here. Strong, strong, strong comeback by Happy into this game, who takes the 1-0. Yeah, the late game counter expansion, like he showed in the group stage once again, working out. This is the big adjustment by Happy. Before, when he was losing to 15 Sway and Kaho and Moon and all that, he was always playing all-ins that were held 
and then you lose. That's how all ins work. But nowadays, Happy is taking it slower, going for the counter expansion. And most Night Elves allow the counter expansion to finish. And then they want to fight with a strong timing at like 65 supply, something around there. Maybe that's the mistake. Maybe you want to attack earlier. Maybe you want to cancel the expansion more, even if it costs you some units. Maybe you want to slow down that expo for the undead and then have a huge overwhelming force. But yeah, that's where the discovery is trying to be attempted right now by the Night Elves. What is now the new answer to the counter expansion? That's a question we haven't answered yet. True. Good to see Happy doing adjustments. Good to see Happy winning games against Moon uh, again. But it's always been close and... Moon has like 400 Warcraft IQ or something. Rough estimation. So if there's a Night Elf who finds solutions fast, then it's certainly him. Thank you, Lanhouse CH, for the 29 month resub. Sappers Boggers, he says. As we have a little bit of a uh, bugged lobby. So this should be time for you guys to check out backtowarcraft.com slash support for all the ways to support us including twitch subs of course it's september subs are off 20 percent or even 30 percent depending on where you're at so get them sub numbers up we drop below 1400 again and you don't want that do you i just spied our next map by the way we're just going to be twisted meadows which I'm looking forward to, especially if both expand here. This could be a crazy game. This could be a long one. Oh, man. We've seen games in the past, 17 minute games on Twisted. Rubbing my hands. Is that uh, the updated Twisted already, Mr. Remo Demo? Yes. Can you it tell our audience indeed. what the big difference is from the updated Twisted Meadows compared to the unupdated Twisted Meadows? The first, I can even tell you in chronological order what changes were made, but that's a little bit too detailed. But yeah, perhaps the most important thing is we have forced cross spawn on Twisted, so no more RNG starting positions, which is very good. And then the f two small camps outside the main, the green and the orange, were changed. Now they are uh, very comparable in difficulty. Both are fairly easy, kind of premium green camps. And uh, there's one. The old green camp is closer to your main base, which finally makes early game creeping not completely, uh, uh, not not so risky for the players. So yeah, this uh, map was improved in many ways with that. And I think it's ready for the competitive circuit again. I made the argument as well. Shout out to the map makers who keep on updating uh, legacy maps to keep them or to make them up to date and playable in the 2022 environment. We started the map. I see a loading screen. But this might require another rehost here. Very excited to see Twisted again. One of the most beloved maps, one of the most epic maps, decided multiple, multiple finals. And it also seemed like normally it was a really good map for Moon. The big map, the hit and run nature that it can have oftentimes, has looked very good for Moon in the past. Uh, but of course, there was an iconic game as well. At WGL, when Happy took first place, that was the time when Moon lost on Twisted. Dude, that was insane. That game is... Like, I do forget a lot of things. You know me, right? It gets the same for you. But I can basically retell this entire game second by second. That was so epic. The Keeper. The keeper. Did they change the game name? Uh, I restarted. I oh, know, it's the same game. As you should always, when you have a, a, lo a bugged lobby, restart all of Warcraft, including World of Champions. Then we're good to go in a second. There we are. The Rara Land qualifier continues in exactly a hundred minutes. The last one. I wonder if we're finished by then. This game has the potential to be a 40 minute classic. Yeah, almost a good thing that 1 to 0 versus Lin was delayed. Otherwise, yeah. this would be overlapping. Happy is once again scratching at that 2800 MMR, which is insane because with this account, I guess he gets one MMR per win or something. It's, uh, it, it, it's absurd. His numbers are absurd. All right, then. It's time. 
Ah, oh, twisted. How I missed ya. Moon Meadows, it is. Can Moon Strike back here? And what hero is he going to play? There's three viable choices. Demon mm. Hunter, always good in the late game. Keeper, always good early, especially with expansions. And even Warden can be really good here, especially with this spawn. Imagine he plays Podum. That would be something, <laughs> but uh, no. She is the one that uh, is not viable. I would expect a Keeper, though. Keeper, yeah. run around, harass, staff, expand. That's normally one of... Moon's big strengths. Exactly. The multitasking and especially mass expansions. I definitely see that coming as well. Okay. Happy bottom right hand side. Aiming for that 2-0 and match points. And Moon going for the mercenary camp. As you said, cross spawns. So with that mercenary camp being so close, this is what you should expect. Big consumable. And this can also be disrupted. I haven't seen Twisted since we have this... Uh, Follow me creeps abuse going on. This could disrupt this right away. Happy may play aggressive instantly against it. If he gets the Shadow Priest, this could make things pretty tough for Moon. This should be a priority for him to try to get it. It was kind of funny when Fly, I think, was playing here. And he didn't know there was Force Crossbone. <laughs> so he was always <laughs> scouting the corners. <laughs> oh. But uh, Happy sure knows. Bad preparation, I'd say. That troll just barely moves back. Okay, creeps pulled. Three wisps for the repair. We got the keeper confirmed, by the way. We got the DK confirmed. But is Happy gonna creep or is he aggressive right away as Moon starts creeping? When you scout this kind of a creep, the knight, of course, is gonna be busy in the early game. With that, you can also go for an instant expansion. I'm not sure if you can do that too easily here. The natural was, however, Made easier. In the past, it was two trappers, two ogre warriors, and the magi. Nowadays, it's one ogre warrior less. So expanding here got easier. But happy. Not so much of a fast expansion player compared to Infi. Okay, and here you see the updated creep camp right away in front of the base. As an overseer, as Remo said, gets rewarded with the claws. That's nice. Keep a level two because that entire camp gives level 2. Also went of mana stealing, which is uh, an entangle more if used correctly. It can be very annoying for the DK as well. Oftentimes suffers with low mana in the early game. Happy of course wants to minimize the losses. And alright, the keeper up to his old shenanigans, ready to look for kills or at least keep Happy busy. And we see the expansion coming up very early. I like this by Moon. He is delaying the tech the map is so big, the Keeper right now is presenting a threat, so this super fast expansion, basically impossible to cancel. Perfect play for the map. Exactly. At the opposite side of Happy's base, ghouls are moving out. So Happy is keeping the Keeper busy, who's trying to keep Happy busy, while the ghouls are going for a cancel, but he can't really afford that, apparently. Happy doesn't have a scout out on the map to see the expansion, but I'm he pretty knows. sure he knows. He knows. With the Keeper this aggressive, it is definitely quite apparent what what, what must be going on behind uh, the scenes. And the question is, how is he going to adjust? Because this is going to be a very fast expansion. Okay, Keeper also stealing experience away from oh. Happy's side. And te oh, wow. That's level 2 decay, that's the aura, that's movement speed, that's Frostborn getting in range of the old elk. But Expo? Is that 60%? A player's forces are under attack. Keeper picks up a staff, of course. the item that could have tremendous value this game. And he's still dangling himself as bait in front of the decay. Very much appreciating here being chased for so long and keeping the Death Knight busy for as long as he is. But Happy also bringing out the ghouls and it's gonna pick up the creep speed. Alright, same on the opposite side with Moon creeping with archers only. Rare sight to use them as blockers as well. Yeah, Happy taking out the Overseer relatively swiftly. Keeper can heal, get more items, mantle, nice. But he has to creep at some point. And Happy on a straight way to level 3. 
Claws in ring. Average items, I guess, for happy. Who reaches tier two? Going for the Lich first. And Slaughterhouse before tier three. So tier three slowed down quite a bit. Yes. Slowed down by a lot, honestly. It's also a sacrificial pit into Slaughterhouse into tech. Oh. I mean, wow. yeah. Even on low lumber, he's going for it. He's really appreciating this shade vision nowadays. Now on this map, it makes a lot of sense to, uh, how big it is. But even delaying statues for it, and even delaying orb for that, is a new way of playing undead mid games. Yeah, Happy saw the wisps heading north with the skellies. That confirms his suspicions. Knows that there must be the expansion up there. Second hero. No demon under this time. Panda. Ooh. Wow. Maybe he plays demon third on this map? Oh, that could be cool. Because it's so big and there's so much to creep. Yeah, that's that would be a super strong try hero. But if he does, probably going to take some time. First, we'll spam fairies on tier two. We yeah. would assume. Yeah, 100%. Okay, I thought for a second he might be able to cancel something. Oh, staff cancelled! On accident. Oh, it's gonna cost him the TP. And now the panda is here alone against the coil. Oh, happy steals it. Gets level 3 with that. Picks up the claw plus 9. This is such oh a goodness. massive moment in the game. Uh oh. <laughs> That's pretty scary. Are just being saved for the time being with Shadow Melt. The panda's getting hardly any experience. Wisp going down as well, and the Lich is gonna arrive soon. And we got the shade for detection! Oh! The shade, the new star in Happy's arsenal. And uh uh oh. Moon, this expansion turns out to be harder than he thought. Yeah. Um look at this lich already. <gasps> Plus 17! Right out of the gate! Step Wait, is, is not dead? ready. Could he not? I thought maybe he could have killed him, but... Oh man, this expo didn't mine yet. DK and Lich are well equipped. Uh... Is Eloon sleeping today or something? She's not really gracing the Night Elves. 0-4 currently on the way to 0-5. Against Undead at least. Yeah, Panagi being kept busy here. He has to defend, obviously. And that means he's not creeping. Tier 3 is progressing for Happy. If he goes for a tier 3 timing and the pattern has level 1, Moon is going to be dead. But at some point, we imagine Happy's going to fall back. But this is very annoying for Moon, that's for sure. Okay. Happy unwilling to commit to the tree fully. Was well prepared, though. And since it's Moon Meadows, I wonder if he's trying to expand multiple times before getting that big army up. Because he has, like, nothing, really, right? He doesn't have the big air army. He doesn't have high levels. He especially doesn't have Demon Hunter. He has no control over this game, really. But we got a new sub. Thank you, Wados, for the nine month. Da why, da why, happy. Who flute for happy. That was a good luck charm. Yeah, great find there. I have about the themes of which now we have two web on the way as well and then insanely fast 1-1 one, one upgrade timing happy's gonna reach 1-1 one, one by the time he reaches tier 3 that's yeah. not something we see normally and he did that on last refuge already so another big adjustment here he had like three fiends and three upgrades or something Pretty cool and I was able to creep the one cap got him to level 2 but level 3 is still pretty far away. And the big concern, of course, when playing Panda is you don't have mana burn in the late game. I wonder if he's just going to go... Oh! Keep the Keeper dies! The staff wasn't fast enough. And probably the Lich right clicks a little bit higher than he thought. Ooh, that's a lot of experience for Happy. <sighs> Tavern res. That's expensive. Oh, yep. that slows down his big army timing. There was so much hype going into this game on Twisted. And Happy completely ruins it. Also, kind of Moon ruins it as well. For not playing as good as the last couple of times against Happy. That's just the difference between Happy and everyone else. Stability. Consistency. He's bringing his A-game every single time. The others, not really. 
And Happy's going for the counter expansion again. We've seen this now quite a few times. This is his adjustment compared to the past. And maybe Moon's just going to play hit and run. Maybe it's going to hit the base all the time over and over. In which case the panda is very strong with the Breath of Fire, of yeah. course. So Moon's goal might be dodge all fights and just expand all over the place. This is classic Moon play. The Night Elf whack-a-mole style. Happy has to tear all these expansions down. Or expand as often as the Night Elf does, but that's hard to do. Moon still has the chance. And yeah, two expansions at the same time. And you saw it with the shade right away. This shade is looking better and better. It's kind of a natural progression. Uh, this year, I think scouting information has become so important in Warcraft as rarely ever before. Or scouting in general. And then the shade is basically the best unit to scout with. So I can understand that. But it's still working as a decoy. This expo bottom right keeps a handful of ghouls busy. But this expo upper left, Happy is on a solid way to the, that building as well. Moon finds his opponent in the middle. He's not willing to take that dance yet. Needs more time, more army. And maybe even a transition. Maybe just keep Happy busy, keep running around the map. And maybe go tier 3 and upgrade... I don't know, Chims or something? Because, uh, yeah, Mass Air against Mass Fiends, not so good. Yeah, this is... Uh, definitely problematic. But so far, we stick with Mass Expansions. We stick with Mass Ferries or Mass Air in general. We're gonna have a 2 base, 3 base if things don't change too crazy. Ultra Vision, ready. Happy scouting upper right with the shade, scouting bottom right with the ghoul. Love that. It seems like he's gonna have three shades soon, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Dude, he's gonna have vision I, absolutely everywhere. I dare to say it. It almost hurts my Warcraft soul to say it, but maybe PCG was right all along, building <laughs> seven, seven shades a game. Yeah, Happy always knows where Moon's coming from. Intercepting the army on the way for the attack. attack. That's nice. I think Happy has to establish another expansion, though, because Moon will get up more trees, for sure. Get up, get up. That Wisp stays alive. That's kind of nice. Panda is still underleveled. I can't believe it. The boots are paying up. Uh-oh! There's the staff. Needs it soon. Doesn't even have the XP. The HP. No. Oh! So close again! Second, Just with the keeper! Second oh time. Oh my god. The staff betrays him. And that is so much experience. Both of the times. Dude, these lich items though. <laughs> that's that's what's making the difference with the staff. Gets a ring plus five though. It's a little bit of a uh, mix up for it. And he knows this expo is here. Dude, Happy is so good today. Happy is scary today. He knows, as everyone knows, that Rara Land is still only 10 days away. So he's getting in prime shape for that. Yeah, takes out this Tree of Life. Moon has to counterattack, do some good damage. But Hannah's out of mana and Happy's gonna TP home in a moment, I would imagine. Oh yep, boy. there it is. Can he even do... Uh, okay. He gets one Acolyte kill for the Town Portal trade, but loses an expansion. Man, that is so rare to see that someone is shutting Moon down with this playstyle. Usually there's always an Expo coming up somewhere at some time. But with all that vision and the mobility, Happy is the one to expand again. And at that point he's going to have... Crazy resource. We'd love to see a Shredder, actually, to get that lumber in as well. But Moon's Do doing it still pretty well, uh, dodging the army and always threatening an attack. <laughs> Seeing this game, I wonder how long it takes Twitch chat to say that shades are OP and completely broken. <laughs> Time to go Potom oh. Owl as a counter. It's already there. <laughs> of course, I underestimated Twitch chat. It's been there for a while now. True. Panda? 
Keeper. On a little expedition. I really like the staffs by Moon. Of course, mobility here in this game, very important. What the hell? If the fairies find this expo, that's nice. What's the panda doing? He's just going two on one against these ghouls. Hell yeah, almost level three. Dude, Happy's vision is so insane. That's another tree. Down! Ooh, lion horn. That's nice. Happy TP's home. Trying to creep Jack. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's four, three heroes. Another web. Another kill. This could be the perfect time for a shredder. Maybe. <laughs> Bottom right. Haunted gold mine versus tree of life. You don't see that every day. And Moon might have the damage to take out the haunted. Happy's hustling over. He's got the level 2 aura, but there is some time to at least kill acolytes. Oh, might man. not be enough for the actual haunted, though. Moon again has to run. That keeper needs this in wall. Uh, yeah, this build deals with the treants easily, and that's a broken tree again, isn't it? Ghoul finds the tree immediately. That's so good. That's almost Starcraft esque right now. And yeah, we're allowed the one expansion, but not more. Huh? Oh, hey, this tree stays up. Panda doesn't have a staff ready. Uh oh. Nobody gets away quick enough. Wait a minute. Was that a little bit of miscalculation? Ghoul dies in the upper left. That might work. Tree is still up. But okay, takes care of it now. Even the Acolyte. I want to work here. Leave me alone. <laughs> Sacrificed himself. Had some dedication. Happy's going to be on four bases soon. A town is under siege. Panda. Uh oh. Has a heal scroll. And Keeper has a staff. Okay. In the meantime, Moon is doing damage. But nothing crucial. It's very important to see that Acolyte here on the bottom left. And there's so many things happening. Happy didn't make a necropolis at the third base, kind of surprisingly. Seems like for mobility purposes, would need that maybe. Now starting to spread out the fiends as well. And it's going to make it harder for the fairies to uh, go for these hit and run plays. Happy now going for boots and heavy staff. I like yeah, that. Yeah, mobility on this map is excellent. Oh, Panda. Oh, no. Oh, Does no. he have the type of staff? Oh, oh. <laughs> kind of close again. <laughs> Staffs to the keeper. Oh no! Oh! Moon! Didn't see the staff, didn't realize, I guess. B to W, yikes in the chat. That's the third kill on a hero. That's not allowed. It's not allowed at all. In the meantime, yeah, he was probably busy with the fairies or something. He is establishing more bases slowly but steady. Oh, that dispel though. Were well, you tempted to say dispel? Ah. Keeper. Uh oh, there's a coil. There's Sunanova. Dodges it, alright. Ferry's taking over the bottom left. He's not really mining bottom right. Wait, he hit the two fiends that were there, I guess. Yeah. At least one. Shade sees another base. That's a cancel. Oh, is it? Yeah, it should be. Is it? Yeah, it should be. Is it though? Yeah. Should be. Should be. Shouldn't these boots 
be on the lich. I feel like perhaps they should. Why not both? It would suit him quite nicely. Ah, there we go. Poo, what a stressful game for both of these guys. Moon is going to be down on two bases while Happy is on three. That's not good for the Night Elf. Full attack by Moon to the bottom left. Happy will finally TP home after having taken out the expansion. And Moon, of course, has to re reply in kind. TP's out as well, didn't lose too much. That was a success successful attack. Killed lots of acolytes here. But it's not Pen like Happy doesn't have the resources to remake. Pendant Keeper, both at the bottom right. With Trian, still trying to get this or knock this down. Yeah, lots of acolytes down, as you said. Oh, so expensive, expensive. To constantly rebuild these trees of life. Moon does it again. Can he get this haunted without losing a hero? Panda has mana. But no. Ooh, it's close. Keeper in trouble. Needs something, oh. that staff. But, okay, town portal. He holds. Happy holds. What a madman. And Shade still checking out everything. Sees the top right red not being taken yet. The other Shade seemingly on patrol between the bases. More ferries going down. And Happy isn't being crippled the way Moon was hoping. The main has expired, so now their income is lacking for Happy, but still on two bases. Establishing that third base was so important earlier on. If Happy didn't do that, he may have been he may have gotten picked apart. But here he's still in a very strong position. Moon is building a tree of life in his main while moving the tree of ages over. That's odd. Backup trees. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Scouting for shades, doesn't find any. Five and three. Dude, that panda on five would be enormous. How much gold is left for Moon? 4,000. Happy has so much left. Two base, one base currently. Oftentimes when you go for these hit and run plays and you damage the economy for the opponent, the I can, uh, oh, can bank a lot panda. of gold, but Moon was never really able to. No. Doesn't Not have at that all. much of a bank at all. Okay, this will be shut down. Oh, the sh is the shade preventing Moon from rooting? Because yep. that... Oh, boy. And Moon doesn't have a wisp at the lab. Normally you can reveal and try to smack the shade. It uh, doesn't have it at the moment. Moon is looking for openings. He's looking for ways to whittle away at Happy, but he's... Not really successful. And Happy has the time again to move north. He's going to take out this Tree of Ages. And move not right away with the counterattack. <sighs> That's the tree gone. He bought the TP. He's trying to defend. Ooh, how though? Oh my, that was so last second. But there was no reveal. He has to do massive damage against the army now. Decimated. But of course, Happy has a town portal. Just leaves right away. GG. Moon taps out. Moon? Got out mooned. Yeah, the mass expo play here not working out. The important thing here for Happy, diligent scouting, quick reactions, good, good multitasking like seen so often by him and setting up the third base on his own side and preventing the third on the other. And then it was a numbers game. Sick, sick, sick performance by Happy throughout the entire day. Whew, Night Elves, uh, could be three Night Elves eliminated today. With Lawlight first, then Colorful. Now the big star. That is Moon. Winning three maps in a row is tough. Versus a uh, guy called Happy. Yeah, hasn't been done uh, in a long time. That I can remember. Bit of a par paradigm shift here perhaps in TP League. For the first season we had two Nidos in the semis. Then we had three. And now it might be none after today. Does Neo me know what to moon somebody means? You know what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> True. <laughs> Didn't even consider that. Inia, thank you for the 213 sub. 
Org plugin. Thank you for the 100 bits. Emperor in the house, 100%. All right, what next? Is it time to change something? The mass air seemed to be the golden bullet with which to finally kill Happy, but I don't know what happened. The gun is jamming or something. It's not working anymore. Must something else be tried? Demon Hunter has occasionally worked as well, but Moon normally prefers the expo play, of course, with the Keeper. Yeah, but do you want to go back to like dryads or something? Not really, right? It's concealed hill here for map three. This is the best map for dryads because of the health fountains. But I feel like nobody practices dryads anymore. No. But Moon, he's the king of the dryads. I was at least. Haven't seen them in a while. Moon won three out of the last four encounters, but. It's the Emperor's Revenge here today. Three match points now could join Fly and Infi in the finals and Happy versus Infi in a semi-final. Oh, baby, please, gimme. But first, she gotta defeat Moon one more time. Another Daft Punk reference right here. It feels like for Moon to win here, he needs some sort of a Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now how do we fit in random access memories? That's a bit more difficult. Well, uh, sure. maybe... Uh, yeah, that's really hard. I was about to say, you know, maybe it's an off day. He's human after all. True, true. Remember the day, a couple of years back, when they announced that Daft Punk was going to dissolve, that they're going to break up? <laughs> oh, that was a sad day. It was, it was. But they will come back at one point. I don't think so. It doesn't matter what you money, think. You think once the money runs out, they're like, ah, whatever. Let's I do a goodbye to her. <laughs> I don't think the money will. 300 run tickets, $300 per ticket. I think that's even, yeah, that is the cheapest. Thing they will offer, dude. It's so crazy how t how expensive tickets can be, right? Dude, you tell me. Well, well, well. Keep a craft, but moon. And yeah, this has to work. Concealed has to work. Last Alrighty. night. Starting off not too well with the ring, but later on for the Deep Manor, should be good. Yeah, this is going to be expansion, mass air, with Deep Manor. That is the norm, that is what seems to be the best. And maybe Moon is even allowed to creep this one early. Alrighty, guaranteed level 2 indeed. Oh, Wisp might be forced to detonate soon here. But yeah, everything as expected. DK Ghouls. Oh, now the Berserker is gone. And now that it's level 2. Cloak can always be good, especially when you play this harassing keeper. Yeah, Moon has to adjust his style. It can't get these Ghouls or Acolytes too easy anymore. Happy's reaction on point. What the hell? What's this wisp? What the... What's he was that? trying to expand super early, I think. This yeah. would have been one of the crazy fastest expansions ever. But the Wisp taken out, and now Moon has to tech instead. And that's a pretty late tech, because he wanted to expand instead. Not Ooh. super far behind Happy, but uh, noticeably behind. Happy's allowing the Keeper to freely creep up here, c clear out the natural, get level 3, in exchange for getting his own level 3. A bit risky, perhaps, by Happy, but considers this to be the proper way. Hmm. Okay. It does work out with that expo. It's still really, really fast. Happy has no vision here, but we'll get that vision soon, of course. Once more, a very, very early graveyard, which is also atypical compared to what he played before. What did he get? Okay, not the greatest items this far. Crystal ball. Oh, is he scouting this? Oh, wow. Okay, does he have the time? 
if he runs across the map right now with the ghouls, he doesn't have that many. And many of them are very hurt as well. He can realistically only bring two ghouls. So there's no way to punish this. Moon may have identified that Happy plays way fewer ghouls nowadays against the mass air. And Moon can get away with more greed with the expansions. That would of course be a nice adjustment. Expo on Twisted was rather late, I feel. So yeah, if that works, it's gonna be Wait, nice. But you gotta survive that DK skeleton harass already. There is a wisp. Necessary. And a counter-aggression. Happy gonna have to staff home to defend. Oh, he's stuck here. <gasps> but ah! <laughs> Rare mistake. I, I, I think that comes to Happy playing so much human off race. Yeah, true. Or maybe you watch too much Chimiko stream. <laughs> you think he's doing that? <laughs> Can you imagine Happy watching a anyone but himself? Dude, imagine if Happy's actually like a big fan of, I don't know. You know, he, he watches Miskip every night. <laughs> he enjoys the <laughs> enjoys the Twitch drama. <laughs> he goes to live stream oh. fails every day. <laughs> I don't think so. That's an alchemist second. Whoa. Yeah, whoa indeed. Moon seems desperate, dude. <sighs> okay. A player's forces are under attack. We'll see. No counter expansion just yet. Keep it distracting. Alchemist leveling. And the Alchemist is really good at taking out certain creep camps early on. Comes fast with the tavern. He's got the acid bomb. But uh, he's a lot weaker compared to the Demon Hunter in the late game normally. Lich coming in. That's a lot of Coil Nova. Gotta be careful to not lose the heroes again. Miss was nice. Thanks, Talisman. Todd. Todd. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Todd says, is watching uh, his own VODs like Patrick ba Bateman in American Psycho. If you know the scene, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good creeping by an alchemist, as you said. Invul Potion. Lovely. But happy. Gets this Ogre Lord with ease. A window maybe for the Keeper to do something, but the Shade instantly trails him. Oh, and the statue in position to possibly block the Keeper away from the Acolytes. How nice is that? Very nice. Second time this series that Happy gets the Undead Aura, which is very unfortunate. The Happy item DLC not working today. Thank you, Doffo, for the 25-month reset, by the way. Good luck with Rara Land! Wish I could be there. Less than three. Less than two weeks, folks. Less than two weeks. Ten days. Less than two weeks, Neo. Yeah, How high Rebo, is that? I get it. <laughs> so exciting. Who do you think is going to get drunkest at Raraland? You. No. I'm a good boy. <laughs> no. Nowadays. Okay. No. Oh, a flute for Moon. Excellent. Can can skip the maybe, part of. Maybe no. Maybe no. <laughs> maybe yes. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the Koreans again. It's been a while. Almost a year. So Moon's Expo is paying off. Hunter's Hall is coming for upgrades. I like that. But Happy seems well equipped as well. But he doesn't try to counter expand this time. Yeah. He's got the skull, but he's heading south. Good for him as well. Very good. Morphine's coming. Frenzy also about to finish. Moon ready for the run by. Doesn't have a panda though. But we'll certainly force the TP back. And that's definitely working. The hidden run is starting. Happy also with good upgrades. Little slower than before. And Town Portal is taking good resources off of him. Uh, ah, Chemical Rage, of course. You can just easily run away. Coming 
Genre expansion seems pretty late this time around. Yeah, everything is a little later than before. A bit of harass here from the hippos, but of course have to run away from the fiends. Okay, and here it is again. Akla coming over. Gonna establish the ziggurat. But Moon can perhaps cancel the haunted. With these hippos around, he can definitely do some damage. There's also no spirit tower in the main, only a crypt fiend with web equipped. And the shade again. So helpful. Knows exactly where the heroes are, where the attack's gonna be coming <gasps> from. Revealed, but dodged. Oh, ho, ho. And that reveal doesn't last long. What now, though? Oh, Sapper coming on the left lane from the other lab. Does he have the timing to get the haunted kill? That would be big. Might be in time. Oh, but happy if he's around. Oh no! To defend oh, it, no. it's just two hundred gold down the drain. Skeleton sees it here soon. Destroyer is ready. Oh my God, he's so ready. And that's such a waste of resources. Moon's still unwilling to fight. Can't fight. Understandable. Needs more. Fairy's heading north again. And the Keeper's coming as well, but Happy Scouting is just flawless. Knew exactly what was going on, but there might be a window here. Ooh, close. Okay, Treants, Fairies, Heroes. Moon throwing everything at this expansion. This has to work, and it does. Big, big, big moment in the game for Moon to come back into the series. A lot of time bought with this. And Moon, look at his supply. Oh my goodness. Look at his supply. Nice. 70 supply already. A thousand gold. He can get up to 80 right now. Max out on upgrades. What's the upgrades? 1 0 only. Should definitely work on those a bit more. He got double staff now. One of the key to victories for his prior success was always having a staff or one staff. Now, why not both? I like that. Good plays. Illusion used as well to go for more scouting as the haunted gold mine is coming up once again. Nice creeping, super fast with the remainders here at the cra uh, crabs. Happy is scouting. Is that? Are you going for another sapper? Are you going for another sapper? The moon's not pumping up to 80. He easily had the gold for it. Going for a shredder now, possibly getting ready for a very late transition into something else. Mountain Giants, maybe. But that is a long, long, long tech tree. He's building another tree. And I think Happy didn't see it because he was distracted by Shredder and Wisp. That's also okay. a super unusual position for that tree there in the little pocket. Third base could be a win condition for a moon, for sure. And he's coming in again for the cancel. <laughs> oh, this is a huge moment. He's just and he's got the damage. Everything, yep, easily with the alchemist. The ring is helping a lot. Just has to get out now, and he does. Alchemist so sturdy against Coil Nova, so he's the perfect hero for that. While a demon hunter usually has more agility and armor, alchemist is very, very heavy on HP. Plus the ring is also good armor, plus the talisman. And that is wonderful. Two base situation established. Never allow Happy to get the two base and going for a third base. Damn moon. Yeah, that's really nice play. And he could head, hit the expansion again. He could swerve over from the right to the left lane. But first, going to the lab, perhaps thinking about another sapper. Two are available. And Moon's got plenty of gold this time. Well, I guess he spent quite a bit of it already. Here's a sapper. But again seen. The shade has eyes everywhere. Like a scooter. <laughs> Boop. Yeah, these sappers here. Quite underwhelming, but opens up the gates for these acolytes. And that is the only source of income for Happy at the moment. Treants once again in the north. And Moon seemingly everywhere. But is he with the keeper? Yes, he is. Quite a few fairies got caught there, by the way. A lot of fairies flew into the fiends, got webbed, and there was like five fairies going down. The Lich got level four off of it. Moon will have to TP out. Wait a minute. Can the keeper rejoin? 
He's stuck here. He's what? stuck here. But he can staff out, I guess. He can staff, yeah, yeah. But he has a staff now. That's the first coil, Nova. Ooh, close affair. Some fairy safe to the right, some fairy safe to the left. Keeper is already there, but Happy knows it if he has his eyes on the minimap. Would love to have an eye tracker. How much time Happy is spending on the minimap? Yeah, I wonder if he enjoys that game. Some players really like those kinds of games where you're getting harassed all over the place. Especially in StarCraft 2, you know, that happens a lot. Attack here, attack there. You have to react quickly, multitask. Personally, I hate those kinds of games. I'm so <laughs> bad at multitasking, but some people, they do like it. I think the games that Happy enjoys have a length of like 3 minutes 30. He enjoys looking at the bank account. Thank you, Hora, for the 4 month resub. Tomorrow's the next show cup. <laughs> Wait, who, is he playing against Moon tomorrow? Oh, damn. Or when is that? I lost track. Oh, the tree is here. Un almost unprotected. Happy has the high ground. So Moon wants to go for trade now. Happy has a TP, greater mana, flute, invul, all that good stuff. Once again, time to do major damage. Moon going for the Acolytes first, but trying to take out the Haunted. I guess perhaps he didn't have the time. But Happy takes out the Tree of Life. TP is ready. And off we go. Can't hold this. Can he? Yeah, the Haunted. Haunted is gone. going down. Oh, oh, the repair. Oh, no. Uh, oh. <laughs> so close. Usually oh, if he had moon... committed to it right from the start. Oh. Usually Moon is the best at these situations and evaluating if that is falling or not that building. Ooh, yeah, exactly, Mr. Alchemist, but not here. Little indecisive. Not the full damage thrown into that haunted and that bites him big now. Haunted getting repaired again, taking out a second time will be difficult. Moon had the window to be aggressive because Happy was elsewhere dealing with that tree of life. Now Happy is ready to receive an attack. It's got such great vision. Shade on the left, shade on the right, army in the middle. And Happy is waiting for Moon's next misstep, it seems like. <laughs> Happy's, Happy's performance today is absolutely insane. Coil Nova again, of course, that's the easy opener to any fight. Staff out, Keeper not part of this, no Entangle, no additional Treants. Where's the damage gonna come from? And where are the staffs, of course, not available. We see some fairies on the ground already, that does hurt, as you can see a lot of spells used, especially on the statue, but statue being repositioned. Moon, he needs to own this fight, but how? abby has got so much healing. No mana Mern to worry about. This Death Knight has plenty of coils, especially with the big mana potion still in his inventory. Lich getting targeted. That looks very desperate. He's got yeah. invults. He got mana potion. This Lich is never gonna die. Nope. Whenever you see a Night Elf attacking a Lich, you know the game is over soon one way or the other. And that is a clean 3-0 for Happy who advances to the semi-final. This was seriously Emperor's Revenge today for the past two series where he felt quite frustrated with the mass ferry strategy. Not today. He found the solutions and he played it so, so, so well with the help of the sapper, uh, of the sapper, of the shades. Yeah, absolutely. Good adjustments by Happy. It seems like the ball is in the Nile of court once again. Moon or Lawlight or somebody else has to come up with a new answer to this counter expansion. Seems like they're on map three. Moon had a good idea. He had lots of cancels. But I think in the end, you just can't really win fights with that alchemist. Tough to say what the answer is supposed to be, but maybe we're going to find out soon. <sighs> sad, sad day for the Night Elves. Lawlight falling to fly, Colorful falling to Infi, Moon falling to Happy. They're wiped out now. There is an Undead still in the race, and there is an Orc still in the race. That game left here, not today, but in the quarters, is Lin versus 1-0. And that will determine Fly's opponent and Infi versus Happy. All the games that are not played today will be happening on September 22nd. That is Thursday. And that's going to be 
epic next week in general freaking crazy if you ask me that is wait a minute where is it um show cup tomorrow then ted cup semi-finals on tuesday a little bit of meisterschaft ted cup finals on wednesday tp league finals on thursday show cup on friday and saturday oh, yeah. and sunday plus the back to warcraft weekly cup plus meisterschaft dude it's a busy september yeah, you guys better stay tuned. Lots of Warcraft happening here on the channel. The next week we got you covered. Broadcasts and uh, coverage every day. And then the week after is Ra Ra Land week. Yo, true, man. True. We get this hype week and then it's time for the biggest offline event in Western soil ever. 200 plus, 250, 300 Warcraft enthusiasts in one location fighting for $10,000 and having a lot of fun. Oh boy. 4,600 viewers. It's been a while since we not had bad. this. Not bad indeed. Not bad, not bad, guys. Let ah. me see. When was the last time we got this? We uh, will be back in less than an hour. For the Rutherland qualifier, we have Th uh, Lucy versus Ente, and we have Thunder versus Hippo. I think the last time we had this amount of viewers was July, probably War 3 Champions Finals. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Really nice. Yeah, happy totally on point. That was amazing. So, guys, uh, thank you for your support. Feel free. Uh, to chip in if you want to back to warcraft.com slash support we thank our uh, sponsors Corsair who give us the best hardware there is on the planet for gamers that is of course and also for streamers as Elgato is part of theirs check out their gear core.sr slash back to warcraft check out holy as well not only do they have energy drinks or the energy drink alternative, but also getting out some iced tea recently, and that is quite tasty. Can also be used as hot tea, by the way. So, double the purpose. Holy, but back to warcraft.com. Oh, I think that is exclamation mark holy. And Huel is with us as well. My personal breakfast at Huel.back to warcraft.com. Mr. Remo Demo, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful, and pleasant Sunday afternoon and evening. And we thank you thank you same to you thank and you all of our viewers and uh yeah we, we see each other with the qualifier exactly we what? see each other in less than an hour yes. you guys out there bye bye bye, -bye.